Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Excel Basics. So this is going to be the first video of a series of videos that are going to be like ad hoc custom videos on topics that I think are useful to know uh, when using Excel. So the one we're going to cover today is keyboard shortcuts. And the first time you're going to use these shortcuts is going to take it's not going to seem like a shortcut it's because you're going to have to like take time to remember or to look it up. But as you go and practice it, you'll see uh, how, how useful it will be. So the, I'm going to post this workbooklet uh, to Dropbox. And these are the keyboard shortcuts that we're going to cover. So there's about 26 of them. So let's go to the worksheet one. So you'll see the link to the to this file in the description. It'll basically be a Dropbox link. So what you'll see here is, first I'm just going to remove some of this formatting, is the first thing we're going to cover is how to save a workbooklet. So very important, really quick and easy way. How you normally do is go File, Save. So I am using Excel 2013 if you weren't aware. So if you press Control S, you'll see the little icon here. You'll see here it's saying uh, that it's, it's saving the workbooklet. If you want to save it to another name, so basically you perform Save As, just press F12. And then it'll ask you to save the file. So very handy. Next thing we're going to cover is some quick formatting. So if you press Control B, it bolds it. So you can see up here. So if I press Control B, it unbolds it. If I were to highlight this area and press Control B, you'll see that all this area is bolded. Next one is italics. So you just press Control I. So you see up here. Normally you would have to go up here and press Control I. But this is a really quick and easy way of toggling between those two. The next one is Control U. So you can see right there, Control U, really handy, underline, really quick and easy formatting. But say you want to do more than just these simple, bold, italics, underline, uh, key, uh, keyboard shortcuts. Next thing you want to do is press, maybe you want to format this in, and do it like a strike through, for example, you rest, you do, what you do now is press control one. So hold control, uh, and then plus, and press one at the same time or press control, hold control, then one. So what you'll see here, this is the format dialog box. So you can see, you can change it into like a number of general categories, or you can change alignment, uh, font, bold, fill really quick and easy way of activating that. Let's say, for example, you want to have the same information as uh, this individual or this individual's last name and you want to include um, this person's brother and you want to keep the same last name. So what you normally would have to do is you would have to type it out, uh, type out the name. But what you can do, a quick and easy shortcut, is to go to the particular cell and you'll see the green box highlighting over it. Press Control uh, C and then you'll see these like ants they call me ants to show that you're copying that particular area go to the cell that you want to paste that or uh, paste the information so you want to press Control v and then it copies and pastes it so very straightforward um you can also for example uh say for example you want to move this entire you want to move this cell so you don't want to copy you want to actually move it somewhere else so then what you would do here is let me just uh, if you press escape what it does is it will cancel the, the action that's currently happening, the uh, worksheet event that's happening. So if I press Control X, you'll see that there's dancing ants again. So this is Control X. And if I were to go to this, this next cell and press Control V, you'll see there it's smoothed the cell as opposed to copying it. So that can be useful. It depends on uh, what you want to actually perform. So say, for example, I wanted to, I wanted to undo this cut. Like I'm like, okay, I cut it to the wrong place. Now I want to take it back. Instead of redoing everything again, I can press just control Z and then it'll basically go back in time. And you can keep going back and you'll see that if I keep pressing control Z, it basically keeps undoing. Say for example, I wanted to um, copy everything in this cell, in this, uh, in this table. What I normally would have to do, and this is pretty simple on this one, I can just go to the bottom corner and highlight it all and manually with my mouse or what I could do is just simply press control A and what control A will do is it'll either highlight the entire table that you're particularly in or it will highlight the entire 
uh, cell box. So if I open up a new one, you'll see it highlights everything in Excel. But in this case, it highlights the box. So I'm just going to delete this sheet four so we don't get confused. So we're now we're back on worksheet. So control A, highlight everything really quick and easy way. So in this case, if I select outside the table and I press control A, then it's going to highlight everything because it's not in the table. So in this case, it's in the table. It's going to highlight everything. I press control C and copy. So really handy. So what sometimes you want to, sometimes you're like way over here and you want to get back to the first column. So the first, what you would do is press control home or press home. And then what home does it home will bring you back to the first column that is viewable or that isn't that's is in the worksheet. So for example, if I were, if you remember from Excel basics one, if I were to add in first column for use here, so you'll see that that uh, column A will always appear like over here. And then when I press home, it will bring it to the first column that's outside the freeze or that's inside that's not frozen. As opposed to if I press home now, it'll bring it all the way to column A. If I press control home, is it'll bring it up to the topmost left uh, cell. Uh, in this case, most times it's going to be A1. Uh, but it's also if you have a freeze on and it's going to bring you to the first top corner. So if I were to have, if I show this again and have the first column and I press control home, it's going to bring you back to B2 or B1. I apologize for that. No, escape this. And some of these you're going to use very often. Sometimes you're not going to use it. Say, for example, another really useful tool is to uh, is to go to the first, well, either last, um, like, non-blank cell. So, for example, if I press, if I, if I had to go to the first, last non-blank cell, it would be this one. Or I go to where there is the next, uh, like, first non-blank cell. Uh, this does basically the same action. So if I were here, I want to go work experience. I'd press control arrow, right arrow, and it'll bring me to the last non-blank row. Well, if I had it, it, it way out here and I press control left, it'd bring me to the first non-blank cell. So really helpful. It basically brings you to the end of the table, whether you're looking inside the table and going to the very end, or you're going outside the table and looking at the very end. And you can do this control down, for example, Control left, control up. So really quick and easy way, especially if your tables are really, really big. Uh, it's a quick and easy way of getting to the end of the table. And if I want to, for example, so if I, I press control right here, it just brings you to the cell, just selects that. It just selects D1. But say, for example, I wanted to select everything uh, from A1 to D1. What I would do is press control, shift. And then right arrow and then it'll highlight everything so what control shift does it basically says like uh highlight it so if i were to press just the if i press shift and then just the right arrow uh you'll see there that it's highlights so that's really quick and easy and a uh, useful tool to to remember uh the next one is a couple of printing options so for example if i want to see what it looks like when i print preview i just press control f2 and then you'll see right there it shows you print preview if I wanted to print it hopefully I don't have quick print set up uh, you'll see here it goes to the the print the print option if I press control P so that's that's useful if say for example I had some filters on there and I had for example I wanted everyone that had greater than 16 years of schooling and I had all these like complicated filters on there and I wanted people someone with greater than 10 Sometimes it can be complicated to see like what are the different filters, especially if there's so many levels. So what I a really quick and easy one that I use is this is using these alt shortcut keys and I don't use a ton of them just because there's a lot of them. Uh, but what basically if you press alt, what you'll see here and now you have a whole bunch of letters here and then they relate to the different ribbons. So I'm going to press a and then what you'll see here is it then goes into the particular ribbon and then I can press C, which is basically just clears filters. Another one that I use like pretty often is uh, uh, is Control A A S S, which is basically sort. And now that pops up the sort menu. Another one that I use is, for example, if I were to go here and I wanted to auto sum it or I want to sum it, I'd either have to press 
equals some blah blah put the range in or I would have to go here and click on auto sum which is not too bad but if you're on like this tab for example a quick and easy way of doing it is just basically pressing alt equal and then it will automatically auto sum so really uh, quick and easy way of performing that and another way is to for example if I wanted to go here and go uh, I wanted to insert a formula and I press equal but I need to know I want to research a formula I have to go formulas here and press insert formulas a quick and easy way of uh, opening that up is pressing shift F3 and then it'll basically open up this uh, insert formula dialog box insert functions dialog box so really quick and easy another one is like cell referencing so this is where you basically put in whether you put dollar signs for absolute means like don't change the column or don't change the the row number so if I were to click in here and I were to press F4 basically what it would do is it would uh, basically put everything as absolute so it absolute the column and as well absolute the row reference and if I were to press this one it would only abs it would only absolute reference the, the row number and then make the column number which in this case is column C relative and if you do press F4 again it will toggle between those two so really quick and useful function Another function that I use quite often, especially if I have a really big workbook lay, is uh, this uh, basically toggling between different tabs. So if I were to press Control plus Up, it'll basically toggle between the various tabs. So if I press Control Up, it'll bring me to the previous one. If I press Control Down, it'll bring me to the next one. Another one is, okay, this is actually a pretty useful one. Say, for example, if I were to press, um, if I had a bunch of numbers here, uh, and I had like this and I want to use like control shift down but then what you'll see here is when I press control shift down because there's these awkward um, blanks here uh, it makes it makes it weird so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna basically if I were to go here or if I even if I were to highlight these cells and I wanted to put the same formula in both cells. So what I could do is just type in zero here and then copy and paste this zero here. But that's a little bit too slow, especially if we have like many different cells. Uh, one way you could do it is basically, let's press escape, let's highlight these two cells and I'm gonna put equal zero and then I'm gonna press control enter. And basically what control enter does is basically it puts the same uh, value or function into every cell that you've highlighted. So for example, I could highlight every cell here and press uh, equals zero and then control enter. So that's really useful, um, really quick and handy way. Another key function is basically, so we identified how to, to get to the last cell, another way, or first cell. Uh, now, how do we get to the last cell? We just press control end and then uh, just because like we had some other values here and basically it'll go to the end of the last where there is less visible data just because uh, we had some formulas and functions over here but that's uh, really quick and handy to use another one is basically if you've been watching the visual basic win um, series uh, what you do is press alt f11 to go to the visual basic uh, coding window Another way you could done it is if you have this developer tab, click on Visual Basic here and it'll pop up the same thing. So those are keyboard shortcuts. Hopefully you found that handy. If there are any other keyboard shortcuts that you use, feel free to comment and uh, list them out below. So these are the ones that I use on a pretty regular basis. Thank you and I uh, look forward to speaking to you in the next uh, workshop.